We've arrived at episode 9 of my building, the Black Pearl, the all scenario version. And I'm on the verge of making some good accomplishments. I've had a little bit of a setback because of some work that has to be done before I can get to some of the more exciting things, I'll say. So really what it comes down to is planking. And I really need to do a lot of planking before I can start building some of these things up in here. But I did pre-make some of it, so let me show you how that's worked out. And I've made some accomplishments on lighting and some things like that. So join with me and I'll show you what I've accomplished so far. I have a lot going on and trying to do 12 things at once to make sure everything fits right. Another aspect of the back of the ship is this piece here. And this just starts out as a flat piece. So what I did is I moistened it and just happened to notice that my stain can was the, about the same curvature as this. I wrapped it in wet paper towels, put rubber bands around it around that can and got this curvature. And I think that's going to be about right. And then you can see I also put it on here with some rubber bands. So it's still got some ways to go, but I think that's going to work out fine. I'm going to end up building the captain's quarters up here and I want to make sure I have all the curvatures right. So I'm not putting anything together. I'm going to try and get some of those pieces assembled so that I feel like everything's going to match up. And I'm sure I can, you know, sand things and get it to all square up pretty well. But that's where I'm at. The other issue is it mentions to run nine lights up to the captain's quarters, which I've done. I did the same thing with a straw to give myself a channel to run this wire, and there's the nine lights. There's no information on where you're going to put the lights or how you do it, so it must totally be up to you as an individual. There's also not a lot of information on getting the lights for the uh, lanterns on the back of the ship. You get three uh, here's this pack. I just said here so I wouldn't forget them. It's a larger lamp, same type wiring. It shows it come up through the center, but it doesn't show it branch out. So I'm thinking I want to pre-drill some holes here and get those lights tentatively in place because I could make real small holes in all of this. So again, before I start gluing all these pieces back here, I want to have electrical access uh, coming through this hollow area somewhere. There are some decorative panels that go in this back area. I've got this one glued on so you can't really see what it looks like. But it is the final uh, exterior of the back of the ship. And it's off of Placard M give you an idea of what I put back there. These are the two side pieces and you can see I've stained these the mahogany already. So I'm getting those in place before I proceed any further. On this back area of the ship and where the, the captain's quarters are going to be. So I'm kind of piecing it together, but not in necessarily the correct order. I'm hoping that this will be helpful for me and for anyone else viewing. So this is the top section. And you can tell that this has some... Well, here, let me show you on this piece see those tabs those two tabs fit down in this so it gives you the proper positioning so I was able to do use that in combination where this fits in on the ship to get the proper placement for this be very careful this is incredibly fragile here until you get planking on it and that's true on both sides. So I'm being extra careful. Then this will give me the opening that I know that I'm going to have at the back of the ship. Just so I can kind of play around with all these pieces and parts that go in place. And here's the next piece of the puzzle. And this is this platform that goes all the way around. This window framing has notches that will go in those holes. And then there's a back window piece 
that is pretty heavy that's going to have to be arched or but I think I'm starting to understand where I'm headed. There's also a panel that will have to be put in place first that goes here with windows and doors as well as, let me see if I can take this apart gently, there is a lot of framing that goes where the captain's quarters are. I'm working on the framing and windows that will surround the captain's quarters and this is the base that it sits on. I put one together. I did not stain this yet. Normally I do. And it's not complete. It has one more step to go but I thought I would show the progression of this step. So this is the inside of the captain's quarters. This would be what would show if you were in the captain's quarters. Then we're going to go with the clear plexiglass or whatever material you want to use. It does not come with the kit. Then the window panes and then the outside portion. That Now as far as gluing these together, and by the way this is my choice. I suppose I could put those window frames on the inside but I just think it's more defined and better looking with it on the outside of this plexiglass. I've had trouble getting any kind of glue to stick when I use this plastic. Wood glue doesn't work. So this time I'm trying this uh, clear Gorilla Glue and I will try not to use much at all. outer piece, if you look closely now, it's hard to see because I've stained, but there are some little uh, etched markings that circle this, and that's because these frames go into those little uh, burned lines. Now here I could actually use wood glue. Actually, it would help if I put these in place. Then once that dries, then you use either a P11 or P12. It depends on the angle of the windows. That side will be P11. This side is P12. And these will fit right on there like that and then there's a matching set that goes on the inside of the glass as well. Because building the captain's quarters has so many fragile parts I have to stop on that construction and I really need to get the lower deck planked. So that's what I'm going to have to do for this segment which I think is going to be part 9. Even though I've filmed a lot of the other things being made, some of the upper parts I'm going to have to definitely decide what I'm going to do with electrical wiring, where I'm going to end up having my plug-in, and I'm still mixed on the brightness of the lanterns. The resistors that I'm using make it a little brighter than what I would like. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but this is the new lanterns in the two lower decks. This is after I replace the uh, resistors with different resistors and now the lights are much dimmer and the one lantern that was out when I made the repairs or made the switches it came back on so I just hadn't hooked the wires up very well and then back in this area this is the cluster of lights for the captain's quarters I've completed 99% of the wiring and just as a general explanation this is an example of the wires that go to the lights themselves. So what I did is I bound them together by color. So you've got the two sets, one's brown, one's black. 
and in this case I ran them up to here then crossed over and then I would take each of those bundles and group it into a thicker wire and this is also where I put in the resistors and you can probably see right here right there there are two resistors and the resistors always go on the red line that's the the power going in the, the positive and then the black is the neutral so you can see I've joined a bunch of them together there and the all the resistors go on the red wires so here's another group and I just put this uh, shrink wrap over the connections so it it's not as messy in here as I thought it might be there's a little messy spot right here with all the small wires here's another group of those wires coming out and then they join right in there right where they cross over and I did that on purpose because I put one of those shrink wrap seal things on it so it kind of protects the wires because those are pretty fragile I'm not using the the power grid that came with the ship I wanted to be more simple so once I get once I put all the wires together and had them grouped then I connect all the red wires together and all the black wires on one line and it goes forward to this plug-in and that's going to be at the back of the ship now you'll notice there's an extra set of black and red wires and those come back here because those are going to go for the the large lanterns at the back of the ship I also need to remember I do not have the resistors hooked on this line it's just going directly to the power source so I'll be putting resistors there and there'll only be three lights so I may adjust uh, and have more resistors or less I'll just see how the lighting goes and on the topic of resistors what I ended up using these came with some LED lights that I had purchased and I just happened to try them and the glow is just exactly what I wanted if I use uh, say 8 to 12 uh, lights for every two of these if you want it brighter add another resistor because what the resistors are doing as I understand it they're just letting power through so if you only use one you're only getting a small amount of electrical power to those lights if you use two it's a little brighter if you use three it's a little brighter because more power is going through yes they re resistors reduce the power but when you do three of them then more gets through I don't know if that makes sense to you but that's how it worked out for me and when I used the two from the electronics shop they were a different size resistor so it was letting too much power through so these turned out to be just right and you can see there's the example there and those are the ones that will be in the captain's quarters so if you take your time group your wires together it'll work out just fine okay fans and viewers I went to a lot of trouble to do this experiment for you and I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference on camera but in this dim light what I've done is I've wired up the transformer this light has one resistor this one has two and this one has three to the naked eye I definitely can this one is very bright and actually um, is distracting and that's what my lights looked like originally this one's not bad and then this one is perfect it's just a light glow these are not the lights that came with the ship these are lights that I have but let me turn some lights on and show you the the wiring that I'm talking about with the lights on you can see this one has the one resistor and it's a shame but it is a lot dimmer and this one has the two it doesn't matter which direction these resistors face they have a color coding on them it doesn't matter it'll work but you do have to put on the positive side and then this one let me move this out of the way has the three resistors and that's pushing more power into the, to the little LED I'm sorry that didn't work out as well as I had expected 
Uh, had I put multiple lights, I think it would have been more dramatic. I'm hoping you can see the difference. It's subtle, but there is a difference. This one's too bright. On the actual ship itself, they're less bright because there's more lights on each uh, resistor. All of the lamps on this floor are passing through just two resistors, so it's dividing that that uh, electrical power a lot more than just one lamp. So my my example using one lamp didn't show too well. I think I mentioned elsewhere in the video that uh, you really need to do the planking before you do some of the captain's quarters because the side rails and some of those things are so fragile until you get it built. So I've had to divert and you can see I've been working on planking and when I talked about the different uh, varieties of planks that were available, some thin, some thick, I at the time did not realize what these were for. And this group of 24 were thicker and I was curious as to what they would be for. I thought maybe some of the side rails and things, which that may be the case. But a good portion of them were on the solid side of the ship because conceivably on the open side you could see all the way through and see the inside of the ship here. So the manufacturer uh, provided the black walnut for that, plus it's thicker so it's more stable, and that's the area that you could possibly see. And then the less expensive wood goes on the outside and then we'll continue all the way down. I will mention I struggle with planking and I know there's mathematical ways to put things together and using string and making lines. None of that works for me. What I end up doing, and let me get one as an example, when I put a plank down and it crosses like this, what I do is I will mark where it starts to cross and where it ends and then I will cut that angle and until it ends up going all the way down to the end of the ship. Hope that makes sense. Now here is one that I did. You can see how this then tapers down to right there so it kind of gives me a straight line. Same thing back here to the back of the ship. It tapers down wherever it touched. And it's worked for me. Once this is all planked then this entire area gets sanded smooth. So you want to get rid of any dips and fill in any cracks and things like that. Now on the other side, let's see. again you can see the the uh, black walnut planks are used here because this does show and then back here it's the white but conceivably this edge I guess you could see and then once you get down in here it'll be this planking and then the entire area will be covered with black walnut, the real thin, almost paper thin, black walnut strips. And here they are. Very thin, very flexible. So I'll have to get all that done before I can proceed. That's it for episode 9. And I'll continue working. It's, uh, it's kind of slow going, but I think in the next couple weeks I should get the planking done and then it'll be full steam ahead. As always, thanks for watching.